Let's take a look at the Mix Console in your Windows 10. You can open the Mix Console in the lower zone, which is the first tab. You can also expand it in here. Now, if you notice under Studio, you have multiple Mix Console. And the reason for that is it allows you to recall different Mix Console configuration. For example, in the Mix Console, you might want uh, all the channels to show up. Mix Console 2 might just be Dialog Channels. Mix Console 3 might just be uh, SFX Channel, so on. Now, a mix console can also be customized. You can customize the layout of the tools, like the project window. You also have a zone, like I'm showing here. You have a left zone with uh, three tabs. Now, you have a visibility tab with the channel showing here. You have a history tab, just like the project window, which you can undo different function directly from here. You have a snapshots tab, which allows you to recall different scene. For example, uh, for a particular scene you're working, on, you're working on on the movie, on the first particular scene, you might want to put a, a, you know, a snapshot where you have a little bit more reverb and another snapshot with less reverb and another in the snapshot with no reverb at all. And let the director, for example, doing the viewing, which configuration he likes the best, a lot of reverb, no reverb, or just a little bit. So very flexible, that sense. You can customize the rack. So you could just show everything within the rack, or you could just show different parameters you just want to see. You can visualize also the way it looks like. You might just want a meter on top, or a cute curve, or maybe a pictures, etc. This is what you see in the bottom here is actually for the left zone and the right zone. So if we show the right zone, you're going to see the control room and you're going to see meters with PPM meters and loudness meters as well showing here. Now you can save different configuration. For example, you can go and say, oh, show all channels and add it to a configuration. It says all channels. And maybe uh, another configuration where well, you have just um, new audio channels, no media channels, or maybe effect channels. Uh, yeah, the audio and effect channels, for example. And says, okay, yeah, let's just add a configuration. So it will be audio, effect channels. There, and you'll be able to switch between the different configurations. So record all channels audio channels, etc. And so you also have visibility agents. So this allows you to quickly recall all channels or ch selected channels, for example, for which channels, or maybe channels within the locator, for example. So it's a quick way to access different channels within the project. So as you can see, the mix consoles has a lot of options and customization tools you can use to improve your workflow.